particular like diet and fasting regimen? Fasting is good. Very good. Fasting is good. I won't. Well, me, I like to fast. Because when I fast, I'm better for her. <laughs> because I'm healthier. Like, my mother died the day I was coming here. I couldn't turn back because she wouldn't have liked that. So I said, I'm going to stop eating. But I ate last night with Linda. I'm not going to eat today. I'm not going to eat tomorrow. And when I got back, I told my wife, we're going to stop eating for about two months because it's good. Twelve days is good. A good fast, stop eating for 12 days every year. And you drink plenty of water and juice. Water and juice and that green food plus. It's going to cost you $49.95, right? But you drink three in the morning. That's all you need. Three capsules in the morning. And you go about your business. Because that's what I have today. And I have a lot of energy right now. Okay? You drink your water and your juice. And you drink your green food plus. What kind of water? Juice, juice, juice. Well, juice. I have, I have tamarind juice in Honduras. But here you have to have apple juice. It's okay. It's not going to nourish you, but it's going to prevent you from going into some madness. So yes, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Lisa Nicole Lopez. When I met Lisa and her eyes, she blinked really fast. She said, I need help. I said, we all need help. <laughs> Me too. Five months later, Lisa was talking to me and her eye never blinked and her Lisa was nice. Lisa realized Lisa fasted for 42 days and 42 nights. Lisa came to my hut. Two o'clock in the morning. She came with these two months of sea moss. Oh, I'm glad I'm talking about sea moss. Sea moss, brothers and sisters. I drink sea moss every day. And Lisa started drinking sea moss. And she saw her body forming up and her nerve nice. And she said, I love you, Dr. Sebi. I said, I love you more. She said, thank you. But you know what happened, right? Well, that's the way it's supposed to happen. And that's the way it happened to me and all of us. But that's okay. Everything is in divine order. But brother, yes, only fast for about 12 days a year. What else is your meal like a day? Doctor. For a person who has a, a busy life that's working and don't have the time to go into a, like a deep fast, what do you do to... Uh, I drink the Green Food Plus. And, and keep on going. That's it. Okay. That's what keeps me going. I haven't eaten all day. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I ate last night by the, the brother, Linda Richie and her husband. But I ate very little because I want to come to you with the maximum amount of brain power. And if I have to do that, I can't eat. I don't care what it is. You're busy. Your stomach is busy, right? So, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> because I have the energy and I want to have more energy tomorrow because I have a big engagement in Miami. So, you saying, in essence, you're saying that if you're not going to eat and you want to have the energy and, and get stuck at the effects of the fast, just drink the, the, the green plus. food plus. My man, you're going to have energy plus. Okay. What can I get handled next? And I move. And I move. Got move. That's an error because. With my own eyes. I don't have any problem with my eyes, but I talk, I could read, I could see clear. But then one day, I decided to do urine therapy. All right. I used my compounds for 20 days. I fasted a month. I fasted for 29 days, nearly a month. And after my urine was as clear as water, I decided to drink it. I was drinking it twice a day, along with a gallon of water. At the end of four days, I was completely blind. Completely blind. I was blind on that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I began to see on Tuesday. I bought some blinders. I told my daughter, I said, go buy me some blinders, please, quick, because the sun is reflecting my eyes. It's hurting me. She said, okay. She went and she got the blinders and I put it on my eyes. Oh, and I was happy. Oh, I wasn't blind. I was in darkness for five days. At the ending of the 50, on the sixth day, I was in Chicago. I was on uh, Stony Island, where we had the center. When, my, when I took the blinders off, I could read the finest letter across the street. Hmm. So why was I blind? Because it was breaking down.
down all of that inflammation. Oh. Coming down. As it crossed the eyes, I had to go. You see? Oh, I see, yeah. So what you need is a total fast for a while, and then you in therapy. And then you continue on the diet, and your eyes going to come back immediately. Clear. Because they to Dr. Clark too, you know. Dr. Clark. Okay, now about fasting. I put Lisa Lopez on a fast for 40 days and 40 nights. And I asked Lisa, what did you see? She said, I saw God. <laughs> and you need healing, Dr. Sebi. I said, I know that. I was on a fast for 94 days. I saw things too. Because your, your brain is clear. So you see, fasting is good for all of you, for everything that you could think of. Remember the child, the boy from Chicago, the little white boy went to Australia and he was walking for 30 days and they found him and he was angry? Why? He was feeling so good. He had not eaten in 30 days. And when I was impotent, I asked my healer, I said, hey, hold it, fella. You know, I, I'm impotent, I'm under 30, I want to know how come I have to start eating up when I got to eat my protein. Got to get my eggs. He said, look, when you start eating, all that fat that clogged your penis and your prostrate gland, all that fat is going to get the opportunity to drain out. When will I see that? I don't know when, but it will be happening before 90 days. The first week, the second week, my asthma began to subside. On the 27th day, my diabetes left. On the 57th day, I woke up to this. <laughs> now, I could not process this. Because in the barber shop in Honduras, when I was 9, 10, and 15, the man used to say, you got to eat a lot of eggs, you got to drink a lot of wine, eat meat. And that was the very thing that made me impotent. So yes, fasting is going to heal every part of you that you need to be healed. But right now, they said... A rod came to me, he from St. Vincent. A rod came, and he said... I died. A rod couldn't breathe. A rod could not breathe. A rod was dying. His pressure was high. His eyes were bulging. Three months later, a rod didn't need anything for three months. A rod didn't need anything for six months. A rod wife called me and said, if you don't start giving that man what you're giving him, I'll kill him. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. She was complaining about his impotence, now she's complaining he's having sex with everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Errol made one mistake though. Right. After six months of not eating, Errol went to St. Vincent. And when he got to St. Vincent, the one person in your life that could always poison you mm. and you have no defense against her happens to be your mama. Mm. So when Errol went home to St. Vincent, and his mother was cooking the chicken and dumplings. <laughs> and this rice and pea. And this fried plantain. Errol passed the kitchen. He swore up and down he would never submit to it. But as he passed, and that stuff went by his nose, he stopped. He said, oh my God, am I going to submit to this thing just once? And he put the stuff in his mouth and he hit the bed. Four hours later, for six months. You don't cheat life. After he cleanses his intestines and you put that stuff in there, he's going to react violently. So I tell you now, you and I are part of a perspective that yes, we cure AIDS. If I was a Russian in Russia curing AIDS, you would say, the Russian people are curing AIDS. If I was a Chinaman in China curing AIDS, you would say the Chinese people are curing AIDS. But I'm your brother standing in front of you. You don't say we cure AIDS. You say he cure AIDS. 
single me out. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not what's happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got proof. We do this. We do these things. So now I'm telling you tonight that we need not suffer with disease anymore. Africa, if we stop eating the garbage, I know that when you go home, you're not going to stop tomorrow. Because I didn't either. The only reason why I jumped on the fast right quick was because my penis wasn't getting hot. <laughs> a young man, you see, when if you have diabetes, you'll violate. Or if one eye or one arm are going bad, but when your penis ain't getting hot, you're going to do everything that's necessary to bring it back. So when the man said, you want your sex back? I said, what you mean to avoid a trap? <laughs> he said, stop eating. I said, for how long? 90 days. And if you believe that this is a lie, there is somebody in this audience, and I know that to be a fact. There is someone in this audience that is impotent, and they're going to try it. Well, I'm going to tell you, brother, when you stop eating for 30 days, you will be ready. Not 90. Before the 90, you will be very well ready at 30. You will say, you mean to tell me that just stop eating does all of this? Well, of course. Of course. Because what you have done, cleanse your arteries. Mm. You cleanse, your eyes clear up. Your nerves get good again. You don't shake. Your understanding gets better. Like C.C. Charles said he loved his wife. Of course he did. Because I had removed his diabetes. I removed his full circulation. I removed his high blood pressure. The boy is relaxed and he realized that he loved his wife. So when you leave from here today, someone asks you, but, well, you know, my grandmother had Parkinson's disease. Oh, yeah, she has mucus in her brain. Located someplace in her brain that need to be removed. But my uncle is suffering with arthritis, where he has mucus in his bones. But what about my cousin? He has AIDS. Where do you have the mucus in his lymphatic system? His blood and his skin. But what about my mother? She's going blind when the mucus is on her eyes. And anywhere that mucus concentrate, it leaves the name of our disease. And the mucus only comes when you have ingested something that did not belong in your body. And if you want a beautiful test, try this one, and then you'll see. Stop eating for 21 days. Just drink water and juices. And if occasionally a fruit or so, just don't eat anything. At the ending of 21 days, you're going to feel very good. You're going to feel very healthy and strong and light. And then you go and sit in front of some fat bag and a glass of milk. And you're going to be sneezing and your nose is going to get tight. In fact, many of you sitting in here, noses get tight already. I will sit all the way from here and hear that little baby with mucus in his chest. The little baby that she's holding. Why the mucus on the baby's chest? You see how young that baby is? And the, and the baby already has mucus on his chest. Of course. Now imagine that baby holding that mucus in his chest without someone reaching out to really help that baby. That mucus would be there until time immemorial, eating away the lining of his chest, his bronchial tubes, his lungs. And then one day the baby get a fever, then the baby get pneumonia, then the baby passes because someone did not come in time to really help the baby because they did not know what was going on. That's all disease, mucus. My mother came all wrecked up, you know, with all the stuff that could hurt someone that is in her 70s. I said, Mom, you can't eat. You can't eat? No, you can't. You can't eat. What are you talking about? I raised you on the same stuff that I'm eating. I said, that was wrong with me. When I was 30, I said I was very sick because of you. But you didn't know. You had the wrong information and you gave it to me, thinking it was consistent. You can't eat, mother. So what I did, I was living in Puerto Rico. I had a gate. A very large gate to get out in the street. My wife would go to work, and I would lock that gate with my mama inside. One day passed, one week passed, two weeks passed, four weeks passed, 
four weeks fast? Yes, four weeks a month. And on the 52nd day of my mother not eating anything but drinking water on those herbs, my mother goes to the bathroom. And she sit there and she is passing something that's long because she felt that thing coming out of her. When she wiped herself and she got up off the, co off the, off the commode and she looked, she didn't see anything. She says, something has got to be in this commode. <laughs> she took a stick and she dig down in the commode and there was that long piece of mucus. All the biscuits, all the hog moths, all the chitlins, and all that that's breaking down her sense, her, her mucus membrane is now coming out. My mother then realized that when that long piece of mucus came out of her like a snake, she remembered she could raise her hand up. Oh, wow. When she walked from the bathroom to her room, she could walk better, a little bit straighter. It was wrapped around her colon. And many of you who are sitting in this audience have it wrapped around your colon right now. Because no one has ever come with a comprehensive therapy that would address that, to remove that. So Sebi, working as a steam engineer at Martin Luther King Hospital, was able to put these compounds together without the acid substance. Being born from an adulterated sperm, I was born with asthma. At 27, I had diabetes. At 28, I was impotent. At 30, I wore glasses and I weighed 291 pounds. Here I am today now at 74, without any of those manifestations. Not that I'm as healthy as I could be or should be, because I started off eating garbage. I was eating everything that my mother gave me, which was garbage. None of it was complimenting me. But what this shows that at the age of 30, I visited a Mexican in Cuernavaca, Morelos, which is Mexico. This man showed me that I was in direct violation of my ancestors. He took me away from all blood and starch, and he gave me these three bags. Each bag would last me a month. What was in the bag? A bunch of herbs already grind up and mixed, but I never knew what the herbs were because that's a strain mark. Did you eat them, drink them? No, I made three cups of tea every day. I would drink three cups of tea every day. And at the ending of 90 days, I didn't have any disease. But Did at the end... Did you bathroom a lot when you had to Yes, eat? I would go into the bathroom five and ten times a day. I had a great big stomach. I was passing fecal matter for days even after I didn't eat. 48 days after the need, I was there passing fetal matter. Then it was just mucus coming out. Mm -hmm. But what I noticed was this. Where was the mucus coming out? From the body. Wow. It's from the body, my bowels. What I, what I remember, I, I loved it, and I have it in the book, that when the first seven, 14 days, uh, the first seven days, I was dizzy. Mm -hmm. From the seventh to the 15th day, no, from the first day to the seventh day, I was calm and pretty. I felt good. But from the 7th to the 15th, I was dizzy every day. I was dizzy. I had to crawl to the bathroom on my all fours. I went to the bathroom for a whole week on my knees, on my hands. I couldn't stand up because everything was moving. But on the 16th day when I woke up, it was a peace that I didn't remember. A peace that I never remember in my life. Then on the 27th, on, on, the, on the 20th day, I didn't hear the wheezing in my chest that I used to have an asthma. Then my diabetes, 140 and 200, mm. no longer exists. And How much do you weigh now? I only weigh 158 pounds. How much were you weighing? 291. Wow. So, so by the end of 27 day, on the 57 day, I woke up. And this is where an argument come into my brain. When I was a little boy, all the men in Honduras, from Trinidad, from Barbados, from the United States, they would have these conversations in the barbershop. And what they would always say, that if you want to please your wife sexually, eat a lot of eggs raw and drink a lot of milk 
and eat a lot of raw meat or, 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 or meat for protein. Well, these things are the very things that interfere with your life. Now, I didn't eat anything for 57 days, and when I woke up, after not having an erection for two years, I was impotent. Why am I not impotent when I woke up on the 57th day? Why my penis is erect? Because my body got the opportunity to drain itself of the buildup of calcification, cholesterol, triglycerides, and the rest. So now, the orifice, which is the penis, is spongy. It needs blood to flow to erect it. But now, those little orifices are clogged. But in 57 days, they were drained out. And I think I was very happy. <laughs>